What's up everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. In today's video we're going to learn five very common and useful time expressions. Are you ready to learn new vocabulary? So take a notebook and let's crack on. First we're going to learn one adverb which is at times. It's level C1 and it means sometimes. A veces. The position of at times in a sentence can be at the beginning, at the end, or after but. And now let's look at some examples with this adverb. The first one, I like to work long hours, but at times I wish I had more free time. The second example, she loves living in a small town, but at times she misses having more leisure options. Leisure has a different pronunciation depending if it's British or American. Leisure is British and American pronunciation is leisure. So leisure or leisure and the meaning is othio. Another example, at times she wants to quit her job and travel the world. And the last example, he can be rather impatient at times. Now let's move on to our expression number two, which is it's only a question of time or it's only a matter of time. You use this expression when you think that something will happen at some point in the near future. In castellano sería es solo cuestión de tiempo. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, he drives so recklessly, it's only a question of time before he has an accident. Recklessly means de forma imprudente o temeraria. And the second example, they are always arguing. It's only a matter of time before they break up. And now let's look at our expression number three, which is level C2, and it's to give somebody a hard time. This informal expression means to make things difficult or unpleasant for somebody. En castellano sería hacer pasar mal a alguien. And now let's look at two examples with this expression. The first one, her boss is giving her a hard time as he is rather rude and bad-tempered. And the second example, Tina's husband is giving her a hard time as he spends too much time on his hobbies. And now let's learn our expression number four, which is to have the time of your life. It means to have an extremely enjoyable experience. En castellano sería tener la mejor experiencia de tu vida. And now let's look at some examples. The first one, the trip to Australia was amazing. I had the time of my life. And the second example, I'm sure your honeymoon will be fantastic. You'll have the time of your life in the Maldives. And last but not least, a very useful expression for the time being. It's level C1 and it means for now, the momento. And now let's look at two examples with this expression. The first example, I'm going to live in Valencia for the time being. It means that for now I'm going to live here until something changes. And the second example, he's going to stay in the same job for the time being. So I really hope you found this English bit useful and if you fancy learning more time expressions, don't forget to check out the first edition right here. And if you want to learn the difference between on time and in time, watch the video over here. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, to turn on notifications and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, Thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao!